What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Alex. And today, i got a very special YouTube video for y'all today. Well, today's a good Friday because the NBA's back. And I'll be making some predictions for the basketball games. But I have a YouTube video because i got to give this shout-out. You know how I do my YouTube videos. Before I can even get to the uh, subject matter, I have to at least first... Um, I have to at least first give a shout-out. There's this fine-ass white girl I saw um, coming up to the Grove. You know, she was checking me out when I was on the bus, and then I guess she wanted a, um, a, another close-up on what I was wearing. So, you know, she, she think I'm cute. I think she cute. I still got to get a haircut, so I'm far from perfect. Ain't nobody perfect. And as soon as the barbershop opened back up, we got to, you know, fix up the face, you know, do something with the hair. You know, so I appreciate that. You know, I told you, white girls, women in general, let me know if I'm doing something right or if I'm doing something wrong. You know, it was kind of unexpected. I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't trying to um, get the attention. I was just trying to come up here and do a video for my fans and my subscribers, and, and that's it. So today's YouTube video, I had to change the name up. I don't know how it's going to come out, so I might have to put sports down twice. So we're going to call the title of the video, Sex Game. The top eight sports, sexy, hot, black, white, and Latina women play um, in sports. Um, and the reason why I put this down is because I do find women very physically, sexually attractive who play sports. So these are the top eight sports that I find women very physically, sexually attractive playing. Now, most people do them in order, but I like to be unpredictable. I like to be very creative in my YouTube videos. I like to start from the bottom and work my way to the top. And depending on how fast, well, I don't want to say fast, but how time I can pace myself to this video, we be good. So coming in at number eight is weight training. Yes, I do find black women, white women, sexy Latina women, Mama C does, and even Asian women who go to the gym and do fitness. See, uh, there is a misconception to when you go to the gym, all you see is men. That's definitely not true because you're talking to somebody who goes to the gym. I got two gym memberships, 24-hour um, fitness and planet fitness. Um, I'm not trying to brag, but I have two gym memberships. And the vast majority of people that I've gone to the gym with have two gym memberships. Some people go to 24-hour fitness and LA fitness. Some people go to Planet Fitness and 24-hour fitness. And I see a lot of women in the gym. I see black women. I see white women. Sexy um, mamacita Latina women. I see Asian women. I see young women, older women. I see sexy BBW women in the gym. So all this um, nonsense talk about they don't see no women in the gym, um, that could be no further from the truth. Now, here on the West Coast, you're going to always find women in the gym. Now, on the East Coast, it might be a little different. You know, I would say it's like 60-40. You know, every city and state is different. Don't expect, you know, just because I said that, that the information is accurate. Sometimes the information can change. Some people will say I'm right. Some people will say I'm wrong. But I do find women in general who do weight training physically sexually attractive. Okay? So... I mean, I do like women who go to the gym, and if they do weight training, it don't bother me. Now, some men are kind of intimidated because they think that all women are going for that um, Miss, uh, Miss Universe bodybuilding look. That's not always the case. Um, sometimes you get women that are built like Wonder Woman. Then you get some women that are built like Supergirl. So it all depends on what size or shape that you're into, you know. And I never had a problem with it because... As long as they do their workout and you don't bother them, then you shouldn't really care how somebody get in the athletic shape. When you go to the gym, it's to do cardio and weight training. You know, get your 5 to 10, maybe 15-minute conversation in and get on with your business. You don't want to, you know, disturb the whole work environment at the gym because, you know, you got a problem with how somebody um, get in athletic shape when they do cardio and weight training. You know, there's weight training for men, and there's weight training for on women. And I find women who do weight training very physically, sexually attractive. You know, that's just me. You know, other guys might say, no, thank you to me. I don't, I don't really have a problem with it, per se. We're going to walk along so you guys can actually see my face because it's bright. The sun is very bright. 
I was trying to get it where you can just see my face, but uh, when I upload this, you'll be like, damn, Alex, how come I can't see your face? You know, why are you walking in pure sunlight and I can't see your face? So I'm trying to get it, I'm trying to get some better shade where you guys can see me. See? It's a little, it's a little better. It's not super better, but it's better than where I was at, where the sun was just beaming down on me, so... Coming in at number seven is MMA and boxing. I love black women who do boxing and mixed martial arts. If anything gives me a huge rush is when I see black women do boxing. But when I see white women and Latino women do boxing and wrestling mixed in with martial arts, I find them very physically sexually attractive. You know, they're um, very aggressive. They're in athletic shape. They take their training serious. They're not playing around. They're not bullshitting around. You know, they're all about getting in the athletic shape. And I appreciate and I admire black women, white women, Asian women, Latino women doing boxing and martial arts. You know, when I do martial arts, a lot of the women in there are already in athletic shape. And I find that very physically, sexually attractive. I mean, like, when you go to a lot of these boxing gyms, a lot of guys be thinking they're going to, you know, go to the boxing gym and there's always a bunch of guys. There'd be some women in there, you know. Don't ever judge a book by its cover. But I do like black women, white women, white, um, white women, Asian women, and Latino women who do MMA and boxing. That means a mixture of wrestling, boxing, mixed martial arts. You know, again, some men get intimidated by it because, you know, you see all those movies, all those television shows. And then you be thinking that um, she going to kick my ass. Well, not unless you say something stupid or you do something stupid. As long as you say the right stuff, you can't go wrong. Um, coming in at number six is bike riding. Now, this is universal. Any woman that rides a bike, just, just a bicycle, I find very physically sexually attractive. You know, because sometimes you go to the beach and you see women just chilling, but when you see a woman, a black woman, a white woman, a Latino woman, or an Asian woman on a bicycle, uh, it gets my blood pumping, it gets my heart pumping, blood pumping, and I find them very physically, sexually attractive. They can do great physical activity sports and make it fun. And when they make it fun, they make it very challenging because it is, it's not you doing the same thing twice, it's them actually doing a physical activity. They're having fun. They're enjoying life for what it is. They're not taking life so damn serious. And that's what I like about black women, white women, Latino women, and Asian women doing bike riding. So it don't matter if it's at the beach, the park, the neighborhood. You know, if I see a girl riding a bike, I'm going to find her physically sexually attractive. Now, some people might say, how come you ain't making a video about women who drive Harley Davidsons? Because that's a separate video. You know, I don't want to cram all that into one video, then it gets lost in the translation. Um, so, coming in at number five is basketball. I told you before, I said it once, I'm going to say it again. I like when black women play basketball. Black women that play basketball, especially white girls that play basketball, I told you this before, I actually will watch women's college basketball faster and quicker than the, w the WBA. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the WNBA, but I'll watch women's college basketball seven to eight times faster because it has the fundamentals. You know, they're still having fun, but they're taking the game serious. And to me, it don't matter if it's a black woman or a white woman playing basketball. I'll watch. I don't care if the whole damn team is black women playing college basketball. I will watch. The whole damn team could be a, a mixture of black and white, and I will still watch women's college basketball now it turns me on but other men are not turned on by women's college basketball but i do watch and i do enjoy and i do have great respect for women's college basketball so somewhere on my sports channel i will start making videos about women's college basketball once you know everything gets underway but to me it don't matter if the girl five foot ten six feet tall six foot two the girl could be six foot four I do like black women and white women that play basketball. find them very physically, sexually, sexually attractive. And I'm not just saying it because there was a movie made 15 years ago by director Spike Lee called Love and Basketball. I was already, you know, fascinated with women playing basketball way before he even decided to make that into a movie. 
All right, coming in at number four is volleyball. Now, this is a sport right here that I like. You know, white women playing volleyball, black women, Latino women, Asian women. Now, I did try it when I was in junior high, and I suck, okay? I said it, I suck. Most guys can't even come on camera and even admit what sports they're terrible at. We all can admit what sports we're good at, but there's some sports I'm terrible at. Volleyball, I suck at. Baseball, I suck at, okay? Those are the sports that I'm just not good at. You know, my dad will be the first one to tell you I cannot even hit the ball out of the park. Basketball, yes. Um, swimming, you might have to go back and get some swimming lessons. Um, mixed martial arts and boxing. Weight training, yeah. Volleyball, oh yeah. I will watch women play volleyball all day. Latino women all day. Coming in at number three is soccer. For those who don't think I like soccer, I do watch soccer a lot on television. I mean, I, have, I haven't got around to making videos about soccer because, you know, there'd be too much going on. And then I was going to make a complete sports channel on every sport that you can think of. So that way, when there's a channel for it, you'll know. But I do like soccer. You know, this is universal. To me, it don't matter if it's black women, white women, Latino women golf women, BBW, I don't, it, it don't matter which type of women play soccer. I, I mean, that's another sport I tried. I'm not good at it. I sucked. Um, I have tried to practice a little bit, but maybe one day I might, you know, when I retire from, from YouTube and I might give soccer another shot. You may never know, but women playing soccer, well, I'll watch. You know, that's, you know, it's competitive. Some people think soccer is not competitive. It, it, trust me. Soccer is just as competitive as basketball and football. It, it may not look like it to y'all, but to me, kicking the ball takes a lot of time and energy just to go right, just to go left, you know, just to kick it in the net. That takes energy. That's, that's a skill you have to definitely be disciplined in soccer. So women who play soccer, um, I commend you. All right, coming in at number two is swimming. I used to swim. The reason why it's number two is because before I started doing weight training, before boxing, before martial arts, before playing basketball, I used to do swimming. And I used to get into a lot of fights in junior high because they thought guys who do swimming were punks. And I used to get into a lot of fist fights. You know, it was, I did swimming, um, I did um, martial arts, I played video games, I read comic books. And I liked an anime, and I got into a lot of fights. That's how come I did a lot of martial arts, a lot of weight training. Before I played any other sport, it was swimming. I'm just trying to tell you, that's what my mom did swimming, okay? So it was a sport she was good at. And if you fast forward 15 years later, the same people who tell you that soccer is a quote-unquote punk sport are hypocrites because you got a guy named Michael Phelps who won seven gold medals about six and a half years ago at the Olympics. Whenever the Olympics come on, I always look at swimming, okay? Because that's a sport I should have stayed with, but everybody was like, man, you need to play basketball, man. And I quit when I was getting really good at swimming for basketball. And that's something I actually regret. If I can go back in time, I would stick with swimming and still play basketball. Coming in at number one, and this is universal. Tr running track, okay? It don't matter if it's black women, white women, Latino women, Asian women. I don't care if the woman's tall, short, BB. I will watch women run track, okay? There's running, like you're running to the park or to the beach. I'm talking about the actual sport. Running track. You can say track and field, running track is all the same. Any woman who runs track, I'm going to find 99.99% very physically sexually attractive i like the women who play the sports and you see when women play sports they make they don't just make it competitive they make it very fun and exciting like us men we make everything competitive you know if we lose we take the shit personal girls they'll they'll laugh it off and they'll have lunch or dinner and talk about what they'll improve in and get better in sometimes we'd be like all right man i'm gonna get you in a rematch man i'm on a rematch in basketball Girls, the women, they don't care if they win or lose. They just like to have fun, you know. Now, they do get competitive. Don't get me wrong. Don't get the game messed up. Some women will take the game serious, but they also like to have fun. So these are the top sports I like women that they play. 
these are the top eight sports I find women very physically, um, sexually attractive in. These are the sports. Now, if I miss the sport, I apologize. Um, I mention every single race. Like I said, I give everybody respect and credit. All the sports that I named off, I give respect and credit to. So if this video is very well received, who knows, I actually might make a part two and a part three in different categories. You know, I don't want to forget the BBW women, BBW women play sports. That might be a, a completely separated video in itself. So I have a lot of ideas for the summer. It's summertime, sports is coming back on TV, and what better way to celebrate sports? Until next time, peace.